so, oh, whoa. Welcome to the pantry. Come inside, but prepare yourself. Okay, so our pantry is pretty. <laughs> Before we start this video, I would like to preface it with I currently live at home with my family who is not all vegan, therefore this pantry tour isn't going to be 100% vegan. All the stuff that I point out that are my own obviously are vegan, but I just wanted to let you guys know you're going to be seeing things that aren't vegan, so don't come at me with this Amanda is not vegan anymore type of stuff. If there's one comment that I get a lot on anything that I show in my videos, it's I wish there wasn't so much plastic. My family is very far from me. Like, we're very different. I feel like I'm very hippy-dippy. I do yoga. I like recycling. I eat a plant-based diet. I try to get compostable things. I get reusable bags. Either way, my family still doesn't get it. I'm not gonna get into it. We are doing the best that we can, and this is pretty much like a regular household. I know you're super used to seeing perfect houses, minimalist, zero waste, or just how people like to portray themselves on YouTube, but this is like... 100% real. Honestly, the only thing that I've changed in this pantry is just making sure that you can see the labels on food that I'm showing on myself and it looks kind of presentable, but otherwise everything else is just a, like a collected chaos. And it really stresses me out to see everything in my pantry because we just pile it up in there, you know? I know that I'll have full control over my own kitchen in the future, but right now, this is what it's like to be a vegan in a non-vegan household. If you're ready to go, let's get into it and I will show you my pantry and the stuff that I like to use on a regular. Hi, so now we're in the kitchen and since it's a what's oh sorry. Since it's a what's in my pantry, so we gotta include all the snacks that are around. Everything here is super spread out, really random place for everything. So you know we just got snacks. Some mixed nut trail mix, some vegan stuff, so that's cool. I don't touch this. And you know, we have some fun. Why is this here? <laughs> so a long time ago, this used to be pretty healthy and very aesthetic. I did the whole thing with the mason jars and it made it like really nice and I put fruits and stuff here and then people just started piling things up in here. So I just gave up and now this is where we put our random snacks. But there are more snacks in the pantry. Because it's such a large kitchen, we have a lot of little corners to put other snacks. So we just got this one hiding here. We got bananas over here. We got the coffee and tea station and drink station over here. There's seasonings right here. We got a lot going on. Of course, there's um, a big bottle. Actually, I didn't know we had this. This is new. You could talk. I just did the yes with the camera. <laughs> I nodded. You nodded at the camera. Yeah. So this is new because I've been looking for nutritional yeast. And Oh, now we have it. Cool. Welcome to the pantry. Come inside, but prepare yourself. Okay, so our pantry is pretty chaotic. There's a large mix of a bunch of things, such as food and cleaning supplies, canned food that hasn't been touched in years, other cleaning supplies, hair dye. Whose is this? I don't know who this is either because nobody dyes their hair over here. Dog food and snacks, potatoes. I like to call this my little corner over here, which is what you can tell is all the mason jars. So we got empty one because I ate all the chocolate chips. Cashews that I still need to refill, but I got a bunch of cashews, new cashews from Thrive Market. You know, Thrive Market has been the savior of my life when it comes to different things especially all these new items. These would have already been in jars by now, but they're new, and I just wanted to make sure that we got this on camera, that you guys know that this is where most of my bulk stuff comes from. Four Sigmatic, love that stuff. Also on Thrive Market. Almond butter, super new. I just want to talk a little bit about Thrive Market. So this is another monthly collaboration with them. Thrive Market is an online marketplace with a goal to make healthy living easy and available for every single person. You can shop online for a bunch of different things, food, cleaning supplies. I haven't utilized the cleaning supplies section of Thrive Market as much as I would love to, but I have utilized the food section with Thrive Market as well as beauty because I just got this from my last Thrive Market box. It's this Mineral Fusion Lip Balm. It's what I'm wearing right now. It's, it's called the Lip Butter. But anyway, they have a bunch of products that are organic and natural that are available for 25 to 50% off. They're easy to shop for too. All the items you can filter through the catalog to tailor to your specific needs. If you're a mom, they have a specific filter for moms. 
pets, if you're vegan, paleo, keto, low fat, low carb, and also if you're concerned about the environment. They send their stuff in boxes and bags that are recyclable, compostable. They are moving toward becoming a zero waste product. And the reason why right now they're not international, only based in the US is because they are concerned about the environment and how they can transport over to people internationally without making a huge carbon footprint. So they're working on that because a lot of you guys have asked me about that. So anyway, if you're interested in Thrive Market, you could get 25% off your first purchase as well as a free membership for a month. And not to mention you get free shipping off of orders over $50, which kind of makes sense to me because it's where I get all of my staples. So let's let's go back into this. I tried organizing my stuff here and eventually it just kind of got messed up, but it's, it's still a good skeleton for it. So this is my little corner where I have baking slash cooking stuff. So along with like seeds and nuts, we also have flowers, hemp seeds, got goji berries back here. Cameraman, come in a little closer. Now over here is usually snacks and ready to eat food. So I would call this spicy black bean and kale soup snack and ready to eat. Oh my gosh, these are like my favorite, one of my favorite snacks. And then we have some other fun ingredients and fun things that we could make. Now this tier is supposed to be drink stuff, but for some reason, like this cereal ended up over here. And you know, I stopped fighting it. I just let things happen now. If you look behind this veil, Okay, I have problems. There's stuff like this barley tea. I have a bunch of teas here that don't fit in that little tea corner, that tea coffee corner. Got some matcha over here. Of course, sleepy tea because I like drinking tea at night. If you go one more down. Supposed to be for sports supplements and protein powders, so you guys know I'm all about blessed protein, but I have had a lot of protein powders just to try out and like BCAA type things. So that's all going to be over here. We like a lot of miscellaneous things in areas like this as well. So, you know, just got to put some artichoke hearts somewhere. And these organic kids bars, which only adults in this house eat because the only kid in this house is too young to eat them. Actually, can Aiden eat these? No. One day? Yeah, probably be gross by then. Okay, moving along. Down here is probably stuff that if you are vegan, you're prob you probably don't care anymore. But I just wanted to show you how I fit in my life in all of this other stuff. So we got Glucerna shake here. Oh, nice. Mom got Glucerna. It's like Ensure, but specialized for people who have diabetes. So that's nice. We got coffee cups in here. I know they're wasteful. I tell my family this all the time, but it's a I, I don't control what they buy. They just do what they want. Try to organize this as best as possible, but we just ended up with snacks just anywhere. Ramen, because what kind of pantry would this be without some kind of ramen? Actually, I've never eaten this one before, but do you know if it's vegan? Technically, oh no, there's anchovy and soy. We did have veggie ramen noodles, but obviously because they were veggie and vegan, we ate them all. Oh, they're up there. Wow. I thought I ate them all, but I guess we have so much more. And then what is a pantry without empty space being taken up by all these appliances? So yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, we also have this cute lunch bag that I bring with me to work sitting on top of our huge containers, huge buckets of rice. You know how most Instagram and YouTube pantries keep their rice in beautiful glass mason jars that are just shown? Well, we go through our rice way too fast for it to be stored in a regular mason jar, so we just gotta put it in a bucket. This is so efficient. This is, you're amazing. I actually didn't put this together, my brother did, who is actually the cameraman right now, if you guys haven't noticed. One of the most important areas of this pantry is this special red bag here, which has a snacks. Come a little closer. Let me bring you into my little corner. So these are mushroom jerkies and a regular jerky, which is, you know, if you go vegan and you really loved beef jerky, these are the kind of snacks you want to go for. These are also available on Thrive Market. We actually just got these from Thrive. With that one purchase that we had, we were eligible for... Hey, we're not, we're not done. It was a surprise for you. <laughs> so not only are you eligible for free shipping, but you can also get samples of things. So this is a sample 
that we chose or that I chose and I also chose this one it's baby food I got it for my nephew because I just want him to try it surprise can I can I get you this? Oh my God. are you tearing up what <laughs> We curl our toes and we get very, very excited. <laughs> there's all these snacks in here, vegan snacks and samples. So there's like a sample of vegan protein. All the fun, colorful things that are in this pantry are normally vegan and normally mine. So, got that. My dad likes bringing home walnuts that I shell. So that was pretty much the tour of my pantry, the pantry at my house. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and that you get zero ideas from the organization and zero ideas from the food that's available here, except for the fun vegan snacks. I'm gonna make lunch now. What do you have in your hands? Water. And? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I like to eat it with rice, it's weird. You did a something. Fruity. Ugh. It's just so underwhelming the amount of food in there, you know what I mean? Let me see. It's just underwhelming. Wow, it's like, do you want a bag with some jerky in it? Do you know how much shiitake I have on day? Yeah. You have so much shiitake. This is like rice, lettuce, baba ganoush. Actually, I want to try the jerky. Yeah, first the uh, initial, no. initial thing. Why would they do it like that? It has a weird taste to it. Right? It should have tang. It should have a little bit of vinegar to cut. The, they didn't cut the. It's applewood barbecue. I know, but. Oh, but this always. This is good. Yeah, this one is like rice and. Cake. This one kills it. Mm. No on this. Yes on this. All right, so I'm now on the portion of my day that has to do a lot with computer work and editing and stuff. So I've just sat down for my snack. And I wanted to bring. I actually brought my almond butter up with you because I am so impressed with this. So impressed with this Thrive Market almond butter. I've been getting it, but I just forgot how good it was because I've had almond butter at my house. But the top, okay, first of all, it is just perfectly runny and creamy. All I have to do is give it a good little mash, knead. Honestly, Miles would appreciate this. I know he's super picky with almond butters and nut butters in general, but Miles, you gotta try this. Maybe I'll send you some. They used to have jars, but I think they switched it over to a pouch just for environmental reasons. and they are actually honoring value. So while I have this amazing snack of almonds, almonds, apples, almond butter, and celery with some hummus, and I'm also drinking some matcha latte that I showed you guys that I had in my uh, pantry earlier. Also, this matcha latte is so good. First of all, let's look at this lifetime savings. I've saved over $780. Um, just by using Thrive Market alone. And the reason why Thrive Market is able to save you so much money is because Thrive Market goes straight through the middlemen. They skip the middlemen, the retail markup, so they just go from the brand and then go to you. And that saves you money. It honestly saves you so much time from going to the grocery store to get your stuff. I love coming here to explore what Thrive Market has. And then I can shop by category and I can even go down here and refine it because I want to make sure, oh wait, I want to make sure that I am getting vegan stuff. So vegan and baking, it's just super easy to go down to, you know, what I want to get. So I want to get baking mixes that are vegan also. And here it all is. So I have a list of my favorites and you can have your own favorites here too that you that I always stock up on. So I showed you guys I have my green free granola in the pantry before too. Always have pumpkin seeds. They also have a lot of stuff like babies and kids, bath and body, beauty. So anyway, if you are interested in trying out Thrive Market, make sure you check out the link in the description below. You can get 25% off your first purchase as well as a free month trial. Let's just get you a little closer to me. A big reason why I wanted to show this pantry tour is because I know it's hard to be vegan, especially when everybody around you is not vegan, but as long as you know why you're doing it, then it really doesn't matter what everyone else around you is doing. Be a kind person, respect everyone else's space, don't judge what they're doing, and they won't give you that much of a hard time. I'm four years and strong into veganism, and honestly, at the beginning, my family was kind of weirded out, but I just kept doing what I was doing. I made a little space for myself. I came to this place of acceptance where, you know, I'm not gonna try to make them go vegan. I'm not gonna force them to go vegan. I'm not gonna be militant and disgusted by animal products around me. But the most that we can do is to find it within ourselves to be patient, 
to be accepting of everyone's journey and to do the best that we can. And so this was me doing the best that I can in the house that I live in. I think everyone just wants to be accepted and happy and loved. And the only way to do that is with an open heart and a forgiving and accepting heart. So that's really saved me in trying to organize my pantry, trying to organize my snacks. I've learned and I've accepted the places that I have control over and the places that I don't. I hope this can help some of you and I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning, noon, day or night and I'll see you next time. Bye.